Oh shit. Damn. Man, why here? Yes, yes, yes. Just bring up the last customers. Get everyone out of there. Please. Fuck. Damn, some bitch. I knew it. Hey doc, got an emergency and I'm on the way. No, I can't wait. Nah, nah, I think I got a lead on who's supplying this shit. And I'm pretty sure it's one of Crimson's goons too. Okay, all right, be there soon. Yeah. Hey, you gonna let me in or what? Yeah, sorry, hold on. And hey, Doc, why are you so dead in here? You only ever put on them tunes while you work. Find the silence pleasurable. Thank you. You might want to try it sometime. Oh, okay. So, what brings you here so urgently? Well, someone OD'd at my job today, so I had to close early. I found the same drugs on him that's causing this epidemic around the city. But, I did find a lead on where a supplier might be tonight. You got a new phone? No, I took it from the guy. You stole evidence from a dead body? I never thought you'd partake in extreme measures like this. What? Come on, this is the best lead we got. Besides, Chris got those cops in his back pocket. So I don't trust them to throw the book at this guy. Nah, this is all me. I'm getting on the action tonight. All right, fine, fine. What do you have? Let me see the address. Looks like you got plenty of time. What are you gonna do, hang around here all night? Oh yeah, sure. I had no plans tonight. Neither do I, that's why I'm working on all this. You really need to get out more, Doc. I mean, I don't say I used to cooped up here with no sunlight. Can't even go out for drinks. You want me to go out within a gang infested city with the world's most dangerous crime boss hunting me down? No, thank you. I prefer it here. Eh, worth a shot. I am working on an antidote to help combat the uh, harmful effects of the drug. Oh, okay. And how long do you think that's gonna take? Could take a year to get two vials, but if I was still back at Claustrum, I'd have it done like that. Crimson there, he's got everybody in his back pocket. You know, I'm very curious about how powerful this drug is. I have a doctor friend that works in the main hospital uptown. He has a patient that survived a deadly dose of the drug. The patient describes the sensation as going through some sort of portal. It caused him to go into cardiac arrest. Whoa, so dude was tripping and had the big one, jeez. Based on the medical report, the drug is a powerful, psychedelic hallucinant. It releases a toxin into the respiratory system. 
which caused the patient to go into cardiac arrest. He's lucky to survive that trip, as you say. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got a copy of his medical reports? Well, not really. The doctor phoned me with the information. Um, isn't that illegal? Not when you're trying to save millions. This coming from the guy who stole a phone off of a dead body. That's tampering with evidence. And that's a crime. <laughs> okay. We're, we're not having this conversation. Are we doing this or what? Let's see what's behind door number one. Oh, okay, he brought some backup. Smart man. Looking like a double play tonight, ladies and gents. Let's play ball. That fucker should have been here right here, right now. Well, your boy's not making it to your little swap meet. But I'm here. I'm very interested in seeing what you got stashed in that trunk behind you. Who's this Babe Ruth motherfucker? Well, I don't know Babe Ruth, but I can definitely hit a grand slam on your punk ass. But you can call me Warganger. Shit, fuck this! <laughs> now, unless you want to see the front end of the stick too, you better open up that damn trunk. Do it now! Alright, alright. Relax. Holy shit, sir! Where the hell did you get that? Don't you worry about that. I'm just gonna show you how it works. Oh shit! tree for this thing will chop that whole tree down Admit, you definitely had me sprinting for my life. Thought I was playing laser tag out here. Call Doc Cranston. Come on, Doc. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. We have to keep it down a little bit. Had to leave early. I have a dinner party going on. Okay, look at you. Taking my advice and leaving the main cave and throwing a little shake day, huh? Yeah, I do have a life outside of helping you patrol the streets. So, what did you find out? Well, you're looking at it. Just the same old shit.
I also found this bad boy from one of the red dinglings I just took out. Man, this shows how I made an upgrade on their weaponry. You're definitely right there. Mm, that looks like one of my designs also. Um, rewind that back, please. You have to understand, Jacob, that back then, Clostrum had me designing all sorts of things. High-powered weaponry for the military? That was my main priority. Unfortunately, the Red Demons have gotten their hands on them. Let me guess. Crimson. The big red bastard. Yes, Crimson. He is the reason why I resigned way back when. He had so much influence over the board. Now, his power has just grown. Yeah, we definitely can't allow the Red Demons to have this kind of firepower on the streets. Well... Luckily, there's still somebody close to my trust. Oh, yeah? Well, who was that? Jeff Stockton. He was a former intern. Now he's the uh, chief engineer of applied sciences. My old job. He works mostly with military and space tech. I'll get to the bottom of it. Ask him what's going on. Talk to him a little bit. Say, hey, what's up? Well, that's real convenient. You got an inside man. But again, can you trust him? with my life. Oh, okay. Well, I gotta open up the store in about six, seven hours, so about that time to get up out of here, and hope you have fun at your dinner party. All right. Drive home safely, Jake. Thanks. Oh, by the way, can you bring me back to my car, please? Appreciate it. Enough with this shit! Well, did you at least get his name or something? Warganger. Huh. Are you gonna continue to let this Warganger guy interfere with my business? Or are you gonna take care of this asshole who's disrupting it? Right answer. Fix this shit. How soon can you get here? It's urgent. 